Hello, welcome to Deal Ideas. Today I've got another uh, hat video for you, made with the crochet ne needle. As you can see, um, it's yeah, a really cool, nice pattern uh, with pink and brown and black. And the other one is green, gray, and black. So we're gonna make a left one variety. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'll show you the tutorial for it. Uh, so one is slightly bigger than the other one because one is done with ten corner of ten rows and the other one's done with nine. Obviously it depends on the size that you'd like to have it, the amount of rows you need to make. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I use needle um, ten and yeah, let's start. As here you can see the green, grey and black one. So we've got a different type of crochet here. It's called the shell, shell knit, the shell crochet style, uh, literally translated. So basically, in every chain stitch, we've got a different color going on. So it overlaps them. So we start there in the round. So we've got nine stitches in the beginning. Then we've got them 18, so that's doubled. And then we've got the smaller shell stitches. So three stitches in one. And then the stitches will expand over over time by the time you make all the rows. So in the third row, we've got three stitches in one basically. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we knew we used normal wool, so it's 30% wool and 70% polyacryl. And we use, sorry, six needle, needle six, not ten, six, sorry. Alright, let's start. Or the other color one. I'm gonna do the ten, the one with ten stitches instead of nine. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do ten stitches, ten chain stitches in the magical ring. So place it over, place it around and then pull it through loosely with your needle. Hold on to the ring, don't pull it. And then we're gonna, one, two, three, four, three chain stitches to, uh, yeah, this is for the height of the, of the stitches. So turn over, pull through, pull through two, turn over, pull through two. And again, turn over, pull through, pull through two, turn over, pull through two. So we do half stitches here, that was three, number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and then we've got number ten. So when we're uh, when you do the one with nine stitches, so the slightly smaller one, so we do nine stitches in the beginning instead of ten. Obviously, this one is going to be the ten, so we'll start with ten stitches. Once that's done, we're going to close up the magical ring, and we're going to close the ring up with a fixed pitch. So go into the first stitch and fix pitch like that. So that's our ring. Then we're going to get a different color. We're going to do pink. So we're going to do a row of doubled. So in every stitch we'll do two stitches. So first we're going to get the pink one on the needle, turn over. Go into the first stitch, 
turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through, three. So this is half stitches. So we're gonna double it. So we're gonna do instead of one stitch, we'll do two stitches in the previous stitch. So instead of at the end, we'll have as a start, we had 10 stitches, we're gonna make 20 now. So we're doubling them. Two stitches in every stitch. So we're gonna have 20 in total. Right, we've got 20 stitches. This is uh, half stitches. That's how the round looks. So we've got 20 stitches now. If you would make the one with nine stitches in the beginning, obviously you would have 18 now. So we've got half stitches here. Pull that over and make a fixed pitch to close up the round. Then the third round as well as the third color. So we'll do a chain stitch. So then we've got the color on the needle. And then we'll start. So this round is gonna be done in small shell stitches. So you can see the hat here. So we're gonna do the tinier size shells stitch as you can see they're slightly smaller than the next round so we're gonna do in the brown color these shell stitches so we'll start with the beginning so we'll start with the half stitch so and um, we're gonna do another half stitch in that same stitch so as you can see it brings some height in there as well then we're going to do a chain stitch in the next stitch and we're going to go into the third stitch again a half so three normal stitches in the third stitch. So three stitches in one previous stitch. And then the next one the same. Obviously we have to do a chain stitch in between. And again, three stitches. And then in the next one, a chain uh, fixed pitch and then again in the next one three stitches and then in the next one a fixed pitch etc right that's where we are at the moment Right, that's the third row done. We need to close it up with a fixed pitch. So we've got uh, the first stitch there and the last stitch. We need to connect them together to finish off the row, to close up the row. So we'll do a fixed pitch there. So make, make the fixed pitch over the first chain stitch that we've done. Right, we're going back to the first color, to the brown color. And we're doing a chain stitch to get the color on the needle. Make sure you pull it as well, so it will hold. So we'll do a chain stitch in the back one. So 
So in between the stitches, so we'll do, we'll do a chain stitch first, so fixed pitch first, sorry. Then we're gonna make a bigger, a bigger shell stitch basically. So turn over, pull through, go through again. So second stitch and a third stitch and a fourth and a fifth one as well. So it's getting a bit crowded. But that's okay. Then we're going to do the second fixed pitch. So into the next previous stitch, we'll do a fixed pitch. And then we're going in between the previous two shell stitches. Again, five stitches. So that all goes in one stitch in the cap in the fixed pitch from the previous round. Then again a chain stitch into the second previous shell stitch. Yeah, so a chain stitch there so you can see what we already created. And again we're gonna make five stitches in between the previous shell stitch from the previous round. So that's done. The first round of big shell stitch is done. We're going to close it up to go into the first stitch with a chain stitch. Oh, sorry, with a fixed pitch. So that's the closing up of the round. And we're going to go to the pink color. So first get that on your needle. So we're going to start here, so we're in between two stitches at the moment. What we need to do now, because we're in the middle of a stitch, in the middle of a, of a, between two stitches, we need to do a half stitch here, go into that hole there, so we're going backwards one stitch. We're going through there and make half a stitch there. And then we're going in the same position two more stitches. Right, there we go. So that's half a shell stitch. So it's a bit of calculating with this hat, but the end result is worth it, I'd say. And then we're gonna do a chain stitch. In there. And then we're going to the, between the two next stitches, we're going in between there and we're gonna make five stitches in there. So we're working between two previous stitches. So five stitches in the one previous stitch. That's all there. Then we're gonna do a fixed pitch in uh, yeah in, in there sorry <laughs> and then in between the two next stitches again five stitches. They're all here, and we're gonna do that all the way around. So we're nearly there at the end of the next round. I'll show you how we're gonna close this round because we started off with half a shell stitch. We need to close it up. So basically, we need to finish off with half a shell stitch as well that creates one whole one. So we'll do two more because we already done three stitches. We need to have five in total. Uh, so we need to do two more and then finish it up with a fixed pitch or with a chain stitch, sorry. 
So we're going to go over that first half stitch and then pull through there to do a fixed pitch. There we go. So that's a whole create a whole shell stitch created. We're going to go to the next color again. We're going to start because we're on the top of a stitch. We're going to do a chain stitch, a fixed pitch, sorry, and then right there we go. And then we're going to go in between the previous two stitches to do five stitches. Right, let me show you what to do with the do uh, to do with the next round. Right, that's the next round done. It's still quite straight, obviously we need to round it back up. So the more I um, I continue my crochet, the more it will bend upwards so you will get the head part. So we're gonna do it we're gonna continue with brown. Again that's all done. So I've got 13 rounds in total done. We're at uh, brown here. That's done. That's the last row as well. This is how the head looks at the moment. So you can see it already by continue your work it created its own shape. So we're just going to finish off the, the round with pink um, to uh, get like a neat bottom bit. Obviously get the uh, pink one on your needle and then again a fixed pitch. Then we're going to do fixed pitch all the way around. So you can see we've got one fixed pitch from the previous round, so we do two half stitches in there to get all even row. So the next shell stitch basically we go fixed pitch in that one, three pieces, and then we're going between the two previous stitches, we'll do. We'll so before the next shell stitch started from the previous round, we'll do two, hot, two stitches in there. So you can see it will make it all even. So between the two stitches usually you have a kind of a dent, but by making two stitches with the pink color on those spaces, it will create one straight line, one straight row. That's what we'd like to have. So we're going to do that all the way around until we've finished and with the finishing off we're going to do a fixed pitch so I did all the way around, that's all done all fixed pitched and we're going to close it up with a fixed pitch go into go, we'll go between the previous first and second stitch of this row and then go to black get that on your needle and a fixed pitch so we're gonna we're gonna do just fixed pitch so fixed pitch in every stitch all the way around to just get that extra extra strength in there so we're at the end of the last last round that's done one more fixed pitch and then we're going to connect it with the first stitch a fixed pitch in the first row not the first stitch sorry right that's our first round done obviously we're going to cut off the last the leftover bit as a string and also the rest and you can also um, to make sure it's all stuck you can make a knot or you can like kind of string it in between. So of course the beginning bits you can 
colors up as well. Alright, let's start our video. If you like our video, please subscribe down to our channel down below for free. You'll always be the first one to be informed about new videos. We have loads more videos for you, so I say have a look and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you soon and next time with the ideas. Bye!